Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your sacral chakra, um, your sacral chakra journey. So, uh, I was going to do these live. I was hoping to record them live each evening. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be possible. So, what I'm doing instead is I'm going to release each successive video at 8 p.m every evening uh, until the series is finished. You can follow along with these. Uh, you can take the journey over and over. You can take it as many times as you like. I'm gonna leave the whole series up um, <clears throat> indefinitely. So uh, with that said, uh, your sacral chakra uh, journey is about to begin. Please take three deep healing breaths. Okay, so before we start, I would like to call in the Archangel Raphael, my namesake, and I would ask that he brings his holy healing energy to this space and to this session. I ask that he brings his holy healing energy to this space and to all of you. I call out to the Archangel Michael and ask that he brings his holy white light of protection all around you, so that as you move forward on your journey, you are safe and protected. I'd like to call in the Archangel Uriel so that he may reveal to you any patterns, messages that you might need to know. And I call in the Archangel Gabriel so that he may reveal to you the path that you need to take. So your sacral chakra is uh, located in your sacral plexus, uh, but it's in between your sacral plexus and obviously your reproductive area. Your element for your uh, sacral chakra is water, uh, so it's supposed to flow, it's an energy that is supposed to flow. The colour for this chakra is orange, like a beautiful, deep, vibrant orange. Um, I see it as like, you know those oranges that you see that when you cut them open, it's just like the most beautiful sort of vibrant colour, very much like that. Uh, crystals and stones that are associated with your sacral chakra are carnelians, a uh, beautiful orange stone, very good at helping you um, get in touch with the deeper aspects of yourself. Citrine and believe it or not, moonstone. Um, so uh, associations for this chakra are all about creativity, uh, desire, vitality, uh, satisfaction and contentment are found here as well uh, and this chakra governs sex, sensuality, creative energy, uh, generative principle, um, you know this is about where energy becomes matter, you know like when um, like a <laughs> man and woman come together they create a baby, uh, when masculine and feminine energy combine they create something, um, you know that's just the principles of polarity but where energy becomes matter and this is also uh, the chakra that's associated with prosperity. So Obviously at the moment we are experiencing unprecedented times. A lot of people are feeling uh, various different fears, various different um, uh, maybe um, unsatisfactory feelings and thoughts. Some of these are maybe expressed at the moment as, I feel cut off from the world and from nature. I feel stagnant. I don't feel like connecting or there isn't any way for me to create what I want and need, and I'm worried about that. I feel like my partner feels neglected. I feel guilty for laughing and enjoying life right now. That's a big one that I'm getting a lot of feedback on at this moment in time. Um, a lot of people feeling, you know, almost guilty, like they shouldn't laugh, like they shouldn't be happy. Uh, and I would like to counter that now and tell you this is exactly the time that you should find happiness. This is exactly the time that you should find joy. This is exactly the time that you should find meaning in your life and continue to look for those things. Uh, 
sorry, I just had to check the timer was actually moving. Um, I feel like I'm lacking. Uh, it's another one I've heard a lot. Uh, and it's a hard to feel abundant when there is so much wrong in the world. Uh, okay, so we're going to address some of this now. Please take a moment to get yourself comfortable. Uh, grab a drink so that you can have one if you need. Uh, get yourself a, a blanket or a pillow, you know, place yourself wherever you're going to be most comfortable. And let's journey through your energy system into your sacral chakra. So again, please take three beautiful, deep healing breaths. Good, okay. So I want you to breathe in and breathe out. And as you focus deeply on your breathing, I want you to move into a state of relaxation. Beautiful state of calm, beautiful state of peace and reflection. Moving deeply into this place of calm, peace, reflection, and love. And as you're breathing in and breathing out, I want you to think of a time, going back to a time where you felt really, really relaxed. A time when you felt more relaxed than you've been in a long, long time. And as you allow your body to sink into this beautiful state of relaxation, I want you to times that feeling by 10. Times that feeling by 10 again. Beautiful and sinking really deeply into this beautiful sense of relaxation. And starting to feel lighter, more at ease than you have in a long, long time. And as this feeling starts to move through your body, I want you to visualize the light of the stars themselves. This beautiful healing white light pouring down from the stars over the crown of the head and flowing very gently, very smoothly over the crown of the head, smoothing all of the tension there and smoothing the lines of the forehead and smoothing all of the tension from your temples and the side of your head down over the back of the scalp, releasing all of the tension there. You feel this beautiful starlight energy, this beautiful white healing light, and all of its warmth flowing around the eyes, flowing around the cheeks, releasing all of the tension there down the sides of your face into the jaw and releasing all of the muscles in your chin and your neck, the sides of your neck, the back of your neck. You feel this energy flow over your shoulders, releasing them just like that and pouring down over the arms, through the muscles in the forearms and shining out of the palms and the hands and through the fingertips. And at this point you feel your chest start to expand, breathing deeper than you have in a long, long time and feeling safe secure, 
calm and at peace. This beautiful light fills your chest, flowing down over the back of your muscles, all of the small ridges in your spine, releasing more and more of the tension of the day, of the year so far. This energy pours down into your stomach, releasing and clenching all of the knots of tension there and soothing all of that energy flowing out of you and dissipating. And this beautiful white healing light pours down over the legs, over the knees through the calves and down into the feet, flowing through the soles of your feet and shining out of the toes. Good. And you know this place that you're going to, this wonderful sense of anticipation that pulls you forward. As you're in this place of calm, peace and tranquility, I want you to visualize a meadow, beautiful place, the most beautiful place that you've seen in a long, long time. You can feel your toes in the grass, gentle breeze flowing over your face and your skin. And breathing in this beautiful place with all of its fresh, clean scents and air. As you look forward, you see a beautiful staircase, amazing, carved into the earth itself, covered in grass, maybe gentle, small trees growing either side. And we're counting you down each step as you descend into more and more of a relaxed state and feeling calm, beautiful and at peace. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. As you descend the last step, you step forward into a beautiful circular clearing You've been here before when you came to connect to your root chakra and to the world, to the beautiful earth energy that's always available to you. You walk to the center of the circle and you take your seat like you did before. And you focus on your sacral chakra now that it's open and ready to receive the earth energy, you feel those roots growing deeply into the earth again, connecting you beautifully, powerfully and deeply to the earth. And you feel this energy flowing upward through your sacral chakra flowing through the root chakra into the sacral. You feel this beautiful sacral energy start to open, expand and awaken within you. And you feel this rush of this beautiful vibrant orange energy, the energy of creation itself, the energy of vitality, the energy of creativity. 
And as this energy starts to flow upward through you, I want you to allow it to infuse every cell in your body. Allow it to infuse every breath that you take. And as you sit in this energy, allowing it to permeate every fiber of your being, this beautiful, vibrant, orange energy of life, of creation. I want you to allow yourself to sink into those feelings. Don't fight them. Don't judge them, just let them come and let them go. I want you to release any thoughts of disconnection, any thoughts of stagnancy. I want you to release the energy of guilt. Release the energy of shame. I want you to allow all of these feelings to dissipate from you now. Again, flowing down through you, through that beautiful root system and into the earth. She is wise, she is loving, she is powerful. She is all encompassing. And the earth is rich with creative, vital, moving energy. And finally, the last feeling that I want you to allow to dissipate is a lack of creativity. Remove that sense of not being able to create and manifest your desires. Let all of that go. Release those feelings, allow them to flow down through into the earth to be cleansed there. And as each one of these negative feelings, limiting beliefs flows out of you, through you down into the ground, into the earth itself, I want you to feel how light you feel with every breath that you take. With each breath that you take, you sink even more into this beautiful state of calm, this wonderful sense of peace. And slowly, as the flow of all of these energies starts to dissipate, you feel the earth pushing energy back into you through the root system, up through the root chakra, into the sacral. And as the earth starts to infuse you with this beautiful energy, I want you to call in all the powerful thoughts of creativity, the amazing sense that you can create anything that you can envision. Call in that sense of true sensuality, of being in and present of the world as opposed to just on it. I want you to call in that beautiful sense of prosperity true prosperity, not just about money or finance, but about being truly prosperous in your mind, in your heart, in every cell of your body. I want you to call in the power to manifest all of your needs, all of your desires, Call in the ability to create all that you need. 
and welcoming in true feelings and clear intuitive physical awareness. And as you're allowing these beautiful feelings of strength and power to flow through you, this amazing sense of creativity blooming within you, a wonderful sense of being able to create all of your desires, to manifest all that you need in any given time or moment. I want you to allow these feelings and statements to wash over you, through you and seep into your being. I can connect to the world and people through energy and through love. I am connected to the whole at any point in time. I feel the vital energies working and moving through me, making me a conduit for beautiful, pure, creative energy. I am already connected and I am aware. I have access to the universal stream of creative energy and at any given moment I can create and manifest my desires. My partner knows that I am present and I am willing. And if you are single, you move towards being ready for the right heart to present themselves. Laughter and joy are the ultimate creative state. I feel happy and blissful and I create more of those feelings with everything that I do and everywhere that I go. I release all of my guilt or shame and I have and I do carry all of this creative energy. I know I am not lacking in anything. I know that I am abundant. I have more than I need at any given moment. I understand that feeling abundant means being living, breathing in abundance. I am a child of the Creator and I am creative energy incarnate. I am love and wisdom and creative energy combined. I want you to allow those feelings and this beautiful energy that you're connected to to continue to flow through you, through every cell in your body, infusing you with their power and their light. And slowly, ever so slowly, you feel that energy start to dissipate, but it leaves a glow in your sacral chakra, in your root chakra, and slowly but surely, you feel the stream of energy come to a still. You stand and you look around your circle, 
beautiful place. And as if it were even possible, it looks even more beautiful than it did before. And slowly you walk to this beautiful staircase, coming back into the present moment, into the present self. But what remains is the calm, the peace and the tranquility and all of the powerful creative energy that you have brought with you. We're coming back up the steps in 10, 9, 8, you begin to stir, coming back into the present moment, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, you begin to stir, 2, one, you open your eyes and you're feeling good. Okay, so remember that what you can control, do. What you cannot control, surrender. Remember that you are loved. And from here on in, sleep well. I send you all so much love. Take care. Take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, take care of everyone that you come into contact with, should you. Uh, connect with people, love people, love each other from a distance. I send you so much love and so many blessings. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.